Hi, I'm Satya from Do Yoga With Me. You're about to practice a, a yoga class that is kind of a cross between a hatha and yin. It's slow and meditative, but the, your holds aren't as long. Enjoy. So let's start seated. Once you get yourself comfortable, allow that, allow your sits bones to connect to the earth through your mat, through the floor. Both sits bones equally connecting. No extra pressure on one side or the other. And then begin to push down into your sits bones so that you feel the reverberation up your spine, creating an elongation in the spine. You pull in on the belly, lift up on your diaphragm, take the crown of your chest up towards the sky, push the back of your head into an imaginary wall, and take the crown of your head right up towards the ceiling. And then focus on the breath. Bring your breath, your breath into your belly. And then exhale it through your mouth. Inhale into your belly. And exhale through your mouth. One more time, inhale into your belly. and exhale through your mouth. Bring your attention back down to your sits bones. Pull your belly button in towards your spine. Lift up through your diaphragm. Take your chest up towards the sky, but not popping your chest out, just inhaling and expanding through the crown of your chest. Push the back of your head into that wall and then lift up through the crown of your head. Soften your shoulders. Take your shoulder blades and place them flatly on your back. And this time as you breathe in, fill your belly. And when there's no room left in your belly, fill your diaphragm. So you inhale and fill your belly and expand it and then keep that expansion going and fill your diaphragm. And then squeeze your belly button back towards your spine, emptying out all the breath. And then start your inhale again and fill your belly. Fill your diaphragm. And then exhale, squeeze your belly button back towards your spine. Fill your belly, fill your diaphragm. And then on that next one, exhale completely through your belly button, tuck it back towards your spine, and then inhale into your belly, your diaphragm, and then expand into your chest, shoulders, and neck. It's a pretty deep, breath and it's a pretty full expansion. So squeeze your belly button back towards your spine. Inhale and fill your belly. Fill your diaphragm. And then fill your chest. Soften your shoulders as you fill. Right up to your neck. And then exhale slowly through your nostrils. Inhale into your belly, fill your diaphragm, and lift up through your chest. Inhale right up to your neck, but keep your shoulders soft. And exhale down. 
squeeze your belly button back towards your spine and exhale fully all the breath in your lungs and your body. And let's do that again. Fill your belly, fill your diaphragm, fill your chest, right up to your neck. Then take your crown of your head right up towards the sky. Soften your shoulders. Take your shoulder blades right down your back. And then begin your exhale by squeezing your belly button back towards your spine, allowing everything to be breathed out. Now let's inhale and bring the shoulders right up towards the ears. Bring your shoulders up towards your ears. Squeeze them, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. And then release them down by rounding your shoulders back. Inhale and round your shoulders forward. Inhale your shoulders right up towards your ears. And then circle them down your spine as you exhale. Inhale and round your shoulders. Bring them right up towards your ears and then circle them down your back and exhale as you go. Beautiful. Now let's warm up through the neck. Drop your chin towards your chest. And then inhale your chin up towards the sky. Exhale and drop your chin down to your chest. Inhale your chin up to the sky. Exhale and drop your chin down to your chest. And then inhale and bring yourself to neutral. And then drop your left ear over towards your left shoulder. Take a breath here. And on your next inhale, bring your head back to center. On your next exhale, take your right ear over towards your right shoulder, being conscious to keep your shoulders steady and level. Inhale back up to center, and then drop your left ear once again over towards your left shoulder, making sure that neither shoulder raises up to meet your head or your ear, but keep your shoulders soft, level, relaxed. Inhale your head back to center and exhale as you drop your right ear towards your right shoulder. Bring your head back to center. So on this next one, exhale and roll your chin and your head across your chest. So you exhale as you roll across your chest and when you come up to the other side, you take an inhale and then you exhale and roll your chin across your chest from right to left and inhale. Roll your chin across your chest as you exhale and then inhale when you get to the opposite side. Exhale as you roll across your chest and inhale as you come up to the side. One last time, roll. This time roll into the center Place your hands on the back of your head so that the heel of your hands, the heel of your palm, is just pushing up against the occipital lobe in the back of your head and allow the weight of your arms to pull your head down. Breathe up into your chest so that it feels like you can breathe into your shoulders and your upper back. Let just the weight of your arms be what pull your head forward. And take one more breath here. And then start to push your head into your hands while your hands push back into your head. But allow your head to come up so your head ultimately rises all the way up but there's tension between your head and your hands. 
and then release that tension and allow yourself to drop your arms down and your head lifts up towards the sky. Take your right hand and place it just inside the crease of your thigh, between your thigh and your hip. And you're going to push down into that thigh as you allow your left arm to reach over as far as it'll go on the floor beside you. But you're going to continue to push down onto that hip, keeping the buttocks and the sits bone on the right side fully in connection with the earth, with the floor, with the mat. And eventually, if it's available in your body, your elbow on the left side might bend and connect to the earth, but keep pushing down into your thigh on the right side. So as you continue pushing down into the crease of your right leg, your elbow on the left side is pushing down into the earth, and you're elongating the side body. You're opened, your chest is open to the side. Your right shoulder is perpendicular to the floor and your head is hanging as loosely as it can. Now if this is uncomfortable for you in your head, in your neck, then you can use your elbow and allow your, bend your elbow so that your hand and your head connect and you're able to rest your head. But if this isn't necessary for you, then just keep allowing the opening fully on the side body, but keep the hip and the sits bone on the right, connecting to the earth. Take three more breaths here. Allowing your side body to expand, breathe right into your ribs, into the space between your ribs and your hips. Take that one last breath. And then as you exhale, bring yourself back up to center. Allow yourself just to be neutral for a moment. And use your spine. Let's do a small rotation. Use your spine as though it were a stir stick for your pelvis. So you're just circling around your hips and your spine is what's stirring all that emotion, all that stuff that needs to be released from inside your hips, inside your pelvis, and then come back to center. Take your left hand and place it in the crease, just in between your, at the top end of your hip, and then allow your arm to stretch at your right arm to stretch out towards the side as you start to open up the left side of your body. And depending on what's available in your body and what's available at the moment in your connective tissue, maybe your elbow bends on the right side. And maybe it's completely different on the right side than it was on the left. Maybe there's space. Maybe there's not. Keep pushing down into the hip, keeping the sits bone connected to the earth. Again, expand through the neck, the shoulders, but keep pushing down through the hand that connects with that crease in the thigh and the hip. Once again, if this isn't comfortable on your neck, then bend your elbow Put your elbow down into the ground and place your head just on your hand on the right side. Allowing yourself to let go of as much of the tension as you're able to. Breathe into where that tension is. Take two more breaths here. Let them be full, let them expand and fill up your entire upper body and yet 
allowing something to let go in your hips, your thighs, your lower back. And on your next inhale, push down with the hand on the ground on the right side and allow yourself to come back up to center. Being slow and attentive to each of your movements, knowing that a yin practice is all about the meditation. It's all about the meditation in the stillness and then the meditation in the movement. So let's start that circling again bringing the hips and the thighs and the lower back into a place of neutrality. So circling around. As you come forward this time, exhale. And as you go back, you inhale. Circle forward and exhale. Circle back and inhale. Forward, exhale. Circle back and inhale. And then come to center. Come to a place of stillness. And just allow. Push down into your sits bones. Engage your belly. Lift up through your, the crown of your head and your chest. And then release all that efforting and just let the body be. Feel into the stillness. Feel into the breath. Let's do a little bit of stuff for your upper body. We're going to do some arms. We're still going to be seated where we are, but you're going to take your right arm and lift it up overhead. First, stretch it up overhead, opening up the side body as we just did, but straight up and down. And then bend your elbow and let your arm drop behind your head. And just let it be there. Let it be as high or as low as it wants to be all on its own. Then take your left arm and extend it out to the side. Turn your thumb down. And then start to wrap your arm in around behind your body and bring your left arm up so that at some point it attempts to connect. Connect to that right hand. Find whatever connection is available. And even if it's just the space in between your fingers, that's a connection. Now bring the chest up, not flying away or popping out, but not collapsing under the weight of your arms over top of your head and behind you. Keep the crown of your head lifting up towards the sky. And keep your elbow, that right elbow, keep it reaching, keep it reaching, keep it reaching for the sky. Breathe fully into your chest. Let the breath fill all the way up to your elbow if that's available. Take two more breaths here. And then release the grip if you have one. And then bring both arms simultaneously back to their position, stretching out in a T. Stretch them out and allow that realignment of the spine. Allowing your body to recalibrate. Not high on either side, just stretching out and away, stretching the arms away from the core. Spread the fingers out wide. Make a fist, bend your wrist, Take your wrists the opposite way. Take your wrists down and then up. And then bring the arms down. Find a new position for your leg if you were crossed in one way 
allow yourself to cross in the opposite way. We're going to stay seated and go back to this spread eagle posture. Take the right arm over top of the left and find your eagle arms. So wrap the elbows together and then wrap the forearms together. Soften through the shoulders and take your shoulder blades down your spine. Keep your spine elongated, but allow the stretch across the deltoids and through the top of the shoulders, the trapezius. Fill up your chest with your breath. Feel your shoulders and your back. Take an inhale, and then as you exhale, bring your belly button back towards your spine. Ground your hips and your sits bones, and allow yourself to bring your arms as far down towards the earth as is possible, as close to your mat as is comfortable. When you reach that place of tension, then stop there. And then back yourself up just slightly so that you relieve all the tension so that your body is able to just let go. Wherever that is for you, find that place and get comfortable with it. If your elbows are right down towards the ground, then you're supporting your upper body on your elbows. If that's not where you are, and you are off the ground, then allow yourself to not take so much of it into your back, but ground down into your sits bones and your hips. Take two more breaths here. And then as you inhale, bring yourself back up to neutral. Unravel your arms. Bring your arms down and give your shoulders a little shake. Bring your arms back out to the side. Stretch them out and away from your torso. One more time, open your fingers, spread them out wide. Then make a fist. Spread your fingers out wide. Make a fist. Drop that fist down and bend at the wrist. Flick your fist up and bend at the wrist, but going upwards. And this time, drop your right arm underneath your left arm. Bring the, the elbows across each other. Bring the forearms across each other. Bring the palms as close together as possible. Relax the shoulders. Bring the shoulder blades down the spine. One more time, tuck in on your belly and lift up through your spine. Elongate the spine right up to the crown of the head. Take a couple of big, luxurious inhales as you sit in this posture. And then on your next exhale, exhale deeply, exhale fully. Tuck your belly button back towards your spine and roll yourself forward one more time. Go to that place of initial tension and then back away slightly so that there is no tension. If your body is willing and able, and allow your elbows to go right down towards the ground. Supporting the upper body on the elbows, arms are still twisted. Encouraging any kind of release 
encouraging a release across the shoulders, across the neck. Take two more breaths here. And then engage, push down into your sits bones, push down into your thighs, begin to roll your body back up as you inhale. Release the arms, bring them down to your side, and then just give everything a shake. Release your legs by putting your hands in just behind your buttocks, so just behind your hips. Let your legs go forward and give them a shake. So your hands are in just behind your, your buttocks. Your fingers are pointing towards your buttocks. And you're flexing and pointing, flexing and pointing. The whole time attempting to keep your, um, your arches engaged. So don't let your feet flatten out. Just keep your arches engaged. And on the next one, you're going to flex so hard that your heels come up off the floor. You're still pushing down with your hands in just behind you to create some length in the lower spine. You're lifting the heels up off the floor, lifting your chest towards the sky, crown of the head also going towards the sky. Take two more breaths, and then release. Release the flex in your feet. So you've released, you've released the tension in your feet and your legs. Your hands are still pushing down behind you though, so you're still creating that elongation in your spine. Your lumbar is being spaced. It's creating space between your lumbar spine and your actual sacrum. Keeping your shoulders down, but lifting your torso up. Modified staff pose, but relaxing something in your hips and your thighs. And then allow everything to release, allow everything to let go. Bring the arms out to the side, inhale up, bringing the arms over top of the head. And then exhale and fold yourself forward over top of your legs. Inhale and bring your arms up towards the sides over top of the head, bring the palms together, and then bend at the hips, let go at the hips, and exhale forward. One more time, inhale the arms up along the side body, bringing them up over top of your head. Stretch up over your head, and then release your shoulders. and then bring the arms down. Place your hands on either side of your thighs. Your legs are perfectly straight. You've got a floint, not necessarily a point or a flex. You're flointed, so the foot is pointed, but the toes are comfortable and flexed. And then start to walk your hands forward. Walk them forward so that you're bringing yourself into a forward fold in a very comfortable way. Now if your body is avail if this is available in your body and you're able to bring your chest all the way down to your thighs then let that be what it wants to be. If that's not available for you, cross your hands, your arms just over top of your knees and maybe your head comes down towards your arms. Use that as a way of supporting the head and the upper body. Keep breathing fully into your upper back, your lower back, your shoulders, your whole back body. We tend to think of breathing as just something that happens in the front of our bodies, but the expansion can happen everywhere. 
take two more breaths wherever you happen to be, whether you're supported on your arm or fully folded out over top of your legs. And then on that second breath, begin to walk your arms back up your legs slowly, bringing your upper body back up to that modified staff. And then bring your right foot in towards the crook of your hip into the crease at the top of your leg. The right foot is up against the thigh. The left foot is full, left leg is fully extended. Find that stability first. Find the posture, sits bones, both connecting to the earth. And then take the back of your left hand, place it on the top of your right thigh as you twist open towards the right side. Take your right shoulder as far behind you as possible and then follow that shoulder with your gaze. Let your gaze go out as far over your shoulders as possible. I have the most amazing view from here. Makes it easy to want to look out over my shoulder. Breathe fully into your belly, into your diaphragm. Feel how with every in-breath your belly expands and the twist unravels ever so slightly. Take two more breaths here. And on that inhale, allow yourself to unravel and come back forward. Bring your arms up over your head one more time. Clasp your hands or bring your palms together. Don't clasp them. And then allow yourself to fold out over that extended left leg. Bring yourself as close to that left leg as, as, as is available in your body. Once again, allow your breath to fill up your back. There's restriction, there's folding, there's pressure on the front part of your body, so expand into your back. Invite whatever amount of release can happen in this posture. Welcome it, because it's why you're here. Take two more breaths. And then begin to walk yourself back up again. Bringing your body upright. Bring your right leg up and tuck it in close towards your chest. Your foot is flat on the floor and it's as close to your thigh, on the left thigh as possible. And then your chest, your knee and your thigh are bent and as close to your chest as possible. Take your left arm and wrap it around that bent knee and thigh on the right side and then allow your spine to be elongated as you push your right hand down onto the floor right behind your hip and then allow yourself to twist and open if your eyes are closed then absorb the stretch in your body absorb what's happening in your body if your eyes are open then allow yourself to take in what's around you but not be distracted by it. Take two more breaths here. And then bring yourself back to neutral. 
extend the right leg. Give your whole body a shake. Give the legs a shake. Keep your palms right at your hips. And if, you're, if your arms are anywhere close to as long as mine are, when you push down into your, to the floor by your hips, you're going to find that there's elongation and separation that can happen in your spine and your hips. If your arms are not as long, you are just going to find that you're able to straighten your arms and something will shift inside your spine, inside your thorax. And then release. Bring your left leg in towards the crease, as close in towards the hip crease as possible. Once again, make yourself as comfortable as possible because we will be in this posture for a little bit. And then start to walk yourself forward towards that lengthened, extended right leg. Let your body go as far down as it'll go. And when it finds that place of tension, then stop there. If you're able to support yourself on the ground with your elbows, then do so. If that's not the case, then support yourself with your forearms across your thigh. Just giving your upper body as much support as is possible so that being in this posture is not painful, is not uncomfortable. If you've got a little bit more room after being there for a while, then allow your body to sink even deeper. And once again, take your breath into your upper back, your mid back, and your lower back. Create space inside your body with your breath. Take two more breaths here. And then gradually and slowly begin to push your hands into the ground and walk your upper body back up. Make any adjustment that you need to so that both your sits bones are still connecting to the earth. And then take the top back side of your right hand and place it on the top of your thigh and then open your left shoulder out behind you place your left hand on the ground behind you as close or as far away as feels comfortable but keeping your spine elongated and the crown of your head lifting up open out your chest to the side Open your shoulder, your left shoulder to the back. Let go of the tension in your hips, in your buttocks, in your thighs. Keep the twist happening through your torso, at your waist and your hips. Sink deeper into your breath. Allow your breathing to permeate your entire body. Take two more breaths here. And then begin to unravel and allow yourself to slowly come back to center. So bringing that left knee up, keep the leg bent, keep the foot flat on the floor and keep your foot as close to your thigh of the right leg as possible. 
take the right arm and wrap it around that bent knee and bring your thigh as close to your chest as is possible. Continue to open that left shoulder up to behind you. Keep elongating your spine, lifting up through the crown of your head and twist one more time. It's a different twist this time. It's more from the torso, more through the thoracic area. Take two more breaths. And then begin to unravel. Allow yourself to open up, stretch your legs out, give the legs a shake. Scoot yourself forward on your mat just a little bit. Bring the arms forward. And we're going to bring ourselves down just for a second or two and then bring ourselves back up again to enjoy the movement. We've been very still. So we've done this before. We're going to flex the, flex the hips and tilt back. But keep the arms as leverage and then lay your spine down. And this time, as opposed to going all the way down, we'll stop right about there. And then engage the belly, tuck in close, and bring yourself back up by taking your arms forward, definitely using them as leverage. Let's do that one more time. So allow yourself to flex through the hips, tilt the pelvis, use the arms to balance you as you go down. And this time, do the exact same thing coming up. Use the arms to bring you up as opposed to just focusing on your abs or your back. Bring everything down. Bring the soles of your feet together. Place your hands down just in behind your buttocks. And as much as possible, push down and scoot your buttocks closer to your legs, to your feet. Bring your feet in close and give yourself a little massage. Allow your feet to be massaged. They carry you around all day and they tend to get ignored and open them up like you're reading a book to yourself. Creating your own reflexology. Now take your, your toes in your hands. Wrap your hands around them and then create extension through your arms. Lift your shoulders up, straighten your arms, take the crown of your head up towards the sky, elongate your spine, and keep yourself in this taut position. We're going to counter this in a couple of seconds by just folding forward and allowing our whole body to just relax out over top of our feet. Take two more breaths. And then begin to bend at the elbows, bend at the hips, tuck the belly in, and allow yourself to fold forward. Take two more breaths in this folded posture. And then using your hands to push down into the ground and bring your torso back up. Stretch your knees out one more time. Extend your legs. And we'll do that sliding backwards one more time, that folding down controlled way as we move our way into Shavasana. Extend the arms out ahead of you. Tilt the pelvis. Lay your spine down gradually, slowly. I can feel my mat crinkling up underneath me.
from here, allow your body to just come to a place of absolute letting go. Relax your shoulders. Relax your chest. Give your hips a little move from side to side and then let them go. Flex your thighs and bend your knees and then let them go. Push your, the backs of your calves down into the ground and let them go. Flex and point your toes once or twice and then let go. Let's move up to your face and let's work on the muscles in your face just for a second or two. Open your mouth very, very wide as though you were gonna take a big yawn. And then close your mouth and exhale. Inhale and take a big yawn. And then exhale and squeeze everything in your face, scrunch everything up, scrunch up your mouth, your eyes, your nose, scrunch it all up, and then release. Just let it be. Breathe out anything that no longer serves. Breathe away the tension of the day. Let your breaths be full. The inhale as well as the exhale. Then when you're ready, bring movement back. Bend your knees. Bring your feet flat on the floor. Roll over to whichever side is comfortable for you. And roll over into a fetal posture. Take two breaths here. Then using the top hand, push down into the floor just around your chest or face. Bring yourself back up into a seated posture. Hands at heart center. Thank you for practicing with me. Namaste.